Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a Get Ready With Me live from Las Vegas for the Latin Grammys. I'm showing you how I got my hair like this with the Dyson Airwrap, this makeup look, my outfits. Please be sure to subscribe before you leave. I make new videos every week on all things beauty and lifestyle. If you'd like to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. There will be a giveaway in this video so you guys can get a perfume from my favorite perfume brand I always tell you about for my perfume of the month, so stay tuned for that as well. I'm just hurrying up to leave right now, but I have to do my perfume with you. I always show you guys what perfume I'm wearing. This is a Dossier White Flowers. This is a dupe for the Flower Bomb perfume, which is one of my all-time faves. It's just a classic fragrance, so I wanted to wear this for tonight. It smells so good, and I have to tell you guys about a giveaway I'm doing with Dossier. They're having a huge Black Friday sale, and you already know Dossier is my favorite perfume company. They have all the high-end dupes for $29. They're like vegan, cruelty free, made in France, free returns forever. And they come with like a little card to show you all the notes and they come with a little travel size one. But uh, my point of all this is to tell you guys that they're doing a giveaway for Black Friday with me. All you have to do is leave me a comment down below and tell me a story of your favorite scent. And then I'll choose one of you and then Dossier will send you guys a free perfume. So it's gonna be amazing because I always share my perfume of the month with you from them. And they have just the best perfumes. They smell exactly like the dupes and they last a lot longer on my skin personally. I've been telling you guys about them for like over a year now. So it would be so cool if you can get your own. So make sure you leave me a story of your favorite scent down below. Just give me a little blurb about anything perfume related that you love and they're gonna send you guys a perfume. So thank you to Dossier for always partnering with me and let's get into the Get Ready With Me. Okay, I apologize for the sound and the lighting. Um, I'm obviously in the hotel bathroom. There's not much I can do because I had to fly here and I didn't want to check a bag so I didn't bring lights and all that. But I just want to sit and chit chat and catch up on life and stuff. I feel like I haven't just like sat down and talked in a while. So my mirror is here. So yeah, I'll be looking here, but I'm just gonna be chit chatting with you while I do my makeup. Let's hope I can do this quickly because I'm sweating from doing the Dyson Airwrap. I entered a clip of how I got this hair. Um, it definitely falls, but it's just like a blowout look. And I don't have any dry shampoos. This is what we're working with, okay? I think I'm gonna do my makeup um, like a little opposite of what I normally do. I'm gonna do brows, eyes, and then face because I'm thinking I'm gonna do a winged liner. It's 5'11", and let me start doing this while I'm talking. My husband just left for the actual Grammy ceremony, which he's working the sound at, so. We love that for him. I'm so proud of him. I'm so excited that he's doing the Latin Grammys and working with Christina, obviously. And by the way, if I get distracted talking, every single thing I use will be linked down below. And also, it's just always what I normally use. I pretty much do the same makeup looks. But today I'm gonna do like a little wing. Um, my eyelashes are not the fullest, but it's okay. So yeah, recently things have been crazy. Like. I know I've been posting a lot, but I haven't done an actual sit down video and just, you know, gave you my update on my life because I haven't been vlogging. Also, please let me know what do you want me to do vlogmas. I've never done it before and I've always wanted to. And also, do you miss the weekly vlogs? Like, should I do the vlogs again? Let me know on that. Today is November 18th, so let's just recap 
November for you since things have been so nuts. So my husband had to go to New York for work for a week. So while he was gone, I was super, super busy preparing for my sister's wedding. I did her makeup for that. I just had like so many beauty appointments and like wedding errands. And then uh, I did like all my Christmas tree videos. And my husband got back like 3 a.m. on Thursday. And that my dad had gotten into town the night before on the Wednesday. So my husband like, he didn't really get a lot of sleep. And then like my dad came over, we got to see him. And then Friday was more wedding stuff. And then Saturday we had rehearsal for the wedding. I stayed with my sister at her hotel. This brow is so good, this one's not. And you know, just did all the prep, like steaming the silk pajamas and like all the fun stuff like that the night before the wedding. And then Sunday was the wedding. That was a little nuts. It was amazing and fun. Like we were ahead of schedule the whole time. And then all of a sudden we weren't and we were late. I don't know what happened. <laughs> But it still came out amazing. I can't wait to show you guys how her makeup turned out. I thought it was like the best. That was my third time doing it since I had did two trials and it came out the best it could have possibly came out. So I'm pretty excited about that. So that was like a whirlwind because it was over at 7.30 and it was like four hours long. So it was just everything was so fast and then, you know, like running all the errands and stuff picking stuff up dropping stuff off literally so mind you i had barely seen my husband thursday and friday like while doing other things and then like didn't see him at all because i was gone and then he wasn't in the wedding party obviously so yeah i didn't i didn't really get to like see him until like we so we took photos for like an hour after the um ceremony so I saw him like 5.30 or something. So anyways, my point is after the wedding, it was like 9 p.m. driving back home. And then he's like, oh yeah, um, we have to go to Vegas until Friday. See, they told him like a long time ago about that she's performing at the Latin Grammys. And they said like, you know, that they might need him, blah, blah, but nothing was confirmed. So apparently like Sunday while I'm doing all the wedding stuff with my sister, they had called him and like booked him his flight all that stuff yeah it's just like you know they told me today i didn't have time to tell you like, you're busy i didn't want to bother you blah 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 we got home like at 10 p.m and then i literally woke up at 7 i had to run to my sister's house i had to go return my dad's suit at men's warehouse and this guy literally on the street was trying to like fight me like an older man he was saying i was in his parking spot that he asked the guy for, like the person's spot who i took for the parking spot and i was like you saw me with my blinker on, that's another story. Literally the day my husband comes back, by the way, we go to do Nordstrom drive up to get his deodorant because he broke his, it's like a glass bottle. He uses the lava one. And tell me why a lady sideswiped us. Like I'm telling you guys so much stuff has happened. Just annoying, you know, stupid things. But yeah, so this lady sideswiped us because she like, we were trying to get into the alley where you do the drive up curbside pickup at Nordstrom. And there was like a big semi truck trying to like back in to the alley like there's like a spot in the alley like that he backs in diagonally basically she didn't want to wait because like we were waiting for the truck and she didn't want to wait so she tried to squeeze in between our car and the wall and obviously you guys know like my car is not even a year old and um so she sideswiped our car and acted like nothing happened and tried to like because she lived like where the americana by her house like an outdoor mall but it has apartments above so like she lived there so she she claimed she didn't even know she hit us and she was trying to like go into the parking garage and no. So my husband dealt with it obviously, but like I have got out of the car because I was filming from inside the car and to like get her license plate in case she took off. And then like, it looked like she was telling him she didn't hit her car. So I got out, but he said I was like making the situation worse. Because that's a whole nother story. Uh, it's just like above the wheel and stuff, whatever. I'm gonna work on my eyes now. Um, I just literally did brows and like prep my lid. I'm using Patrick Ta as always. But yeah, so this lady had like sideswiped us on Thursday and there was just like so much going on. So then that guy like trying to fight me for the parking spot, I was ready. Like I was so annoyed. I don't know why people are so crazy. He was basically yelling at me from his car, cussing me out, banging on a steering wheel like he was gonna do something like threatening me. And I was like, you're not gonna yell at me like that. Like get out the car if you're gonna yell at me like that. It was a mess. Um, he got out of the car, but he went in the store. He didn't come over to me or anything, which my husband was mad. He told me I was instigating, which I wasn't. I was like, you're not gonna yell at me like that and like threaten me 
and bang on your steering wheel you know what i mean that was fun but um yeah so i had to like pack run i was basically already packed but my luggage for my sister was like one pair of pajamas and then like all makeup and glam stuff so i basically just took out all the makeup that i didn't need um if you follow me on instagram then you've already heard all of this so i apologize but yeah, so I had to pack and then we had to leave for the airport and then get the craziness that happened. We literally almost missed a flight because of my husband. So I'm early. I ran all those errands in the morning because I was up since 7. We were supposed to leave at 11. He's like, oh, you're not checking a bag anymore? I said, no. He's like, I'm going to call the lift. So the lift was taking forever. So we get in the lift. Mind you, we do like lift or Uber Black, whatever you want to call it. It's like a sideswiped old nasty car and I was like, this is really like you're paying extra for this okay whatever he's driving so slow he like goes the opposite direction and he's like oh sir like i'm running late like i'm gonna miss my flight blah blah, blah. after all that we get to the airport and he's like oh i don't have my license because mind you he was packed from new york and was barely home for like you know those couple of days because he also went to orange county on Saturday when I did he stayed with my aunt it was a mess so then I'm like well what are you gonna do so he like pulls to the side to search his bag to see if it was in there and then there's some lady sitting on the chair sobbing like sobbing just like she was crying a little bit and then it was like an uncontrollable cry and I was like okay like do I ask her if she's okay with what's going on it was so crazy like I don't I don't it was like one of those moments where you're like what's happening like we go up to the counter to change the flight the next flight was like hours later and I was like Ray like you literally have to record when you land we can't miss this flight blah, blah, blah. so I asked the guy he's telling me not to ask the guy and I'm like hey like he has a photo of his license like we're gonna miss a flight you know I told him like name drop if you have to he didn't even say anything and I was like tell him you have to be on this flight no matter what he's like no and I asked the guy and all he said was he's like yeah it's up to security, so like go talk to them and see what they want to do, blah, blah, blah. We go and we tell them the situation and then they literally just ask for like different identification and they actually let him go. And then at that point they said because he didn't have an ID, they had to like search his body, search under his hair, search every single item in both of his bags. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go run to the gate and make sure they don't take off without us. I got there like with enough time where they're still boarding but he's still over there so i'm like waiting i'm waiting so then we're the last people on the plane we got the last two seats in the back we're all smashed in then after all that they're like oh there's a like when we're on the runway they're like oh there's a delay like the flight is literally 35 minutes and then they're like oh there's a delay like we have to wait on the runway 20 minutes so we end up making it we get in the uber we come to the hotel. There was a long, long wait to check in. I don't know why Vegas is so cracking. Like, the airport was crazy. The hotels were crazy. Uh, it wasn't even for the Grammys. It was like the people look like they're doing work conferences or something. So once we come, we have to wait to check in. So we, like, leave half our luggage with the bellman. We had to go buy him a new laptop, buy new headphones. We went to go eat because our room was still not ready. They were, like, really late giving us a room. We came to the room. He's, like, trying to set up everything. And then he's like, okay, well, we have to go Uber to Best Buy because I need more cords. Go buy $200 worth of cords. Do all this stuff. Um, we ate sushi while we were waiting for our room. It was nasty. It made me sick because I had been eating, like, so clean for, like, weeks. I had lost, like, mm, well, for my, for my biggest, 24 pounds. But um, from the recent, it was, like, 17 pounds I had lost. And I had been eating just, like, salad smoothies and then, like, tuna salad with gluten-free crackers. So... I didn't really eat the weekend of my sister's wedding because she was eating healthy up until the wedding and we were like busy, whatever. When I ate that sushi, it just kind of like made me sick because I had been eating so healthy and um, I was okay though. Oh, and then I like was so tired because I hadn't gotten sleep for so long because mind you, when my husband was out of town to New York, I could not sleep because normally he works overnight, but it's like I know that he's coming home. But like I had the house like dead bolted from the inside and like even though I was super busy throughout the day and I was tired, I couldn't sleep at night because I don't know, I was just like paranoid or something. I don't I don't know. It's a weird feeling. So mind you, I was just like super super tired. Then every day waking up at six, all that stuff. So like by Monday night I was done. Like I was so done. And then 
He had to work at night and do stuff for the show. It was like while I was sleeping, so I had no clue. Hold on, I can't concentrate on my wing. I can't remember what I was saying, but yeah, I knocked down, he went to work, and then we wake up Tuesday. And like, you think you have so much time over here? You know, like if you're here for five days or you're on vacation for five days, um, you think you have so much time and then it like flies by. So like the first two days we were just like sleeping because we were so tired and he's literally been in his bed at home like twice in what three weeks or something so tuesday we wake up and then he's like let's go to the pool and i said well i don't have a bathing suit so we literally took a car to target okay i had to do the eyeliner first they're not exactly even but they're close and i don't have like a black one to go underneath so i'm irritated i don't know why i didn't bring it i unpacked it but yeah so my husband wanted to go to the pool so we took a car to target we got like swimsuits, we came back, we went swimming, which was so fun, we ordered food by the pool. We came back and like showered, took a nap, we just hung out and then he like went and worked while I was sleeping. So like Monday and Tuesday were mostly just like resting, for me at least, not for him. And then Wednesday he had rehearsals in the morning, so then I went to the gym and I like, you know, got a lot of work done and then... Today he had rehearsals again in the morning. I think last night too he had rehearsal. I can't remember. Oh, he came back early. And then um, this morning yeah, he had rehearsals. So I went to the pool instead of to the gym because like my back has actually been okay for like a minute. I haven't had pain. When I stopped like working out, stretching, basically doing anything, I just stopped everything. It's been good. Knock on wood wherever there's wood. So I'm like, okay, I, I don't want to go to the gym for a second day in a row and then like potentially hurt myself. I did laps at the pool. I got my favorite smoothie that they have at the pool. I came back in the pool and showered and like got more work done, did some reels and editing. He barely had came in for like an hour and took a nap. And then, yeah, he left to go to the actual ceremony um, when I started talking to you guys. <sighs> so that's all I had to catch you up on. <laughs> By the way, I've been trying this new Too Faced my friend told me about. So I used to use a regular one. This is like a 24 hour oil-free matte one and I wore it to my sister's wedding for the first time. It was really good. It's good coverage. But yeah, so we're here till tomorrow. We fly out in the afternoon and then, you know, just go home, unpack, shower, do laundry, clean up the house because it's a mess. Since like packing, unpacking, all that stuff. Make sure you've checked out my Christmas tree videos because I did them early so you guys could have some inspo to see like how you want to decorate this year. So I sacrificed my fall decor for you. So please go watch. Thank you so much. I did a red tree and I did a pink tree. So whichever you prefer, it's there for you. And then next week is Thanksgiving. Like a week from today is Thanksgiving. So I assume we're going to go to the Bay. I just have to see what my husband's schedule is um, before we know like where we're going on what days and stuff. And yeah, that's basically where I'm at. I'm excited to like actually go home and reset after thanksgiving obviously i'm trying to eat as clean as i can i haven't this week no 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 while we're in vegas i have not like earlier i had french toast and bacon what the <laughs> obviously when i go home i'll have like what saturday sunday monday tuesday if we leave wednesday i'll have like four days and now that i know my body's okay to do like my, my swim and my walk i'll probably be doing that i'm not really into thanksgiving food but I know that I'm like FOMO cuz and I'll eat it just because everyone else is eating it. And my husband, we've been talking about for like years going to Vail on like a little snow trip the first week of December. We literally talk about it like, I don't know, every single year for, since like 2017. And we've never actually had the time to go. So we were seriously considering going this year based on his work schedule. We haven't even planned it yet, so I don't know. He's still talking about it because I was trying to get a, I called it a souvenir in Vegas. I said, oh, I want to get a souvenir. Like, what, like a coffee mug? No, like a Chanel, you know? Uh, but <laughs> he said, uh, are you not trying to buy a new bed and like night tables and uh, Christmas is coming and are you not trying to go to Vail, uh, this, that, and the third? And I was like, uh, I guess. So I didn't buy anything while I was here. I was mostly in the room, to be honest. I seriously feel like I've talked your head off. So I'm just gonna speed through my face. I'm doing my face quickly and the same as I always do it. Okay, I'm back to do my lips with you. 
We're gonna go with our OG Fenty combo. I haven't worn it in a long time. I'm gonna use Morphe Sweet Tea. And I'm also gonna show you the makeup in way better light because this is insane. So I always do uncuffed first. I feel like my makeup looks the same every single time I do it. This looks so good. So I let this dry first and then I put unbutton on top and I just do it in the center. I take my finger and I blend it because I look crazy right now. I find that these stay on all day. They're never dry and look how full my lips look. I love it so much. So here's a close up of the makeup. The lighting is still awful, but I feel like this is the brightest I'm gonna get it. Hi. You look so nice. Work. Little Latin Grammys fit. Shirt, pants, shoes by H&M. H&M. Little bag by Louis. A little front row access, backstage trailer, all that. You look cutie. Thank you. Ah! And I got a grill. <laughs> grill by Miami. Grill by Miami. Right. Any words? I look crazy, I have a clip in my hair. Uh, this is it, don't get scared now. Scared. <laughs> okay. Okay guys, that is it. I hope that you loved everything in this video. Leave me a comment if you want me to do vlogmas this year or any other video requests you have. I hope that you enjoyed. Until next time, thank you so much for watching.